Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding the Wiener University and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. This question has been asked in Walmart interviews over the past couple of years. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given one table called New York with two different columns, student ID and score, student ID being the primary key for this table. Each row contains information about the score of one student from New York University in an exam. We are also given a second table called California, again same two columns, student ID score, student ID being the primary key for this table. Each row contains information about the score of one student from California University in an exam. There is competition between New York University and California University. The competition is held between same number of students from both universities. Okay, the university that has more excellent students wins the competition. If the two universities have the same number of excellent students, the competition ends in a draw. Okay, an excellent student is a student that scored 90% or more in an exam. Okay, so we have the definition of excellent student. We are asked to write a SQL query to report New York University, obviously which, whoever, whichever university has more number of excellent students, you return that or if it is a draw, then you return no winner. Let's go through this example. So for example, here we have uh, information about two different, two students, right? Uh, so in New York and two different students in California University, right? So how many people in uh, New York University have more than, uh, have scored 90 or more? one and here zero right so the output should be new york university and that is the output so if the number of students who scored 90 or more in this table new york is greater than the number of students who scored 90 or more in california table then we return new york university uh, otherwise vice versa or if there is a tie then we return no winner right so let's start developing this query so from this table called new york right we are only keeping those rows where score is greater than or equal to 90 and then we are counting the number of students right so student id so this is from the new york table now how will we uh, calculate the number of students who scored more than 19 from california table so similarly from california right where score is greater than or equal to 90 you return the count of students right so student id now we need to compare so from these two we get how many people in new york university scored 90 or more and how many students in california university scored 90 and more so if we you know keep this in parenthesis right so this will return a certain number now if it is the case that this is greater than this value right so what do we need to do return new york university right so what we can do is since here are cases so what we can write is select that is return case when right case when this is true right so let me just you know reformat it so same stuff right i'm just you know uh, reducing the number of spaces so right select this okay so when this is the case then what is going to happen then we return new york university right then we return New York University when the opposite is true, right? So when opposite is true, so here if it is less than uh, from the California, right? So California University, right? And else you have no winner. Okay. So since we started a case when statement, we need to end it as well. And our output should have the name of the column as winner. So we alias it as winner. So this looks good. Let me go ahead and run this to see what happens. 
So yeah, this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it. Again, like very simple question. All we had to do was compare two numbers. And since here we have different cases, so we have used case win statements. Let me know if there is any better way of doing it or a faster way of doing it, a more efficient way of doing it. Post the solution in the comment section below. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.